Hi guys, Imogen here, Imogen Grace Eventing and today's vlog is going to be another really, really fun one because today I'm actually at Cannon Hall Farm and which is at five on the farm and I'm going to obviously go see the animals but also see if I can spot some celebrities. So obviously here is going to be Ayorkshire Vet, um, Ayorkshire Farm, things like that and I'm so excited so yeah, let's get on with the video. So once we got through the check-in, we just kind of had a look around and saw where everything was and then just started having a little walk around and here yeah, I will stop talking so you can listen a little bit to this. This was actually Yorkshire Vet, so yeah. Welcome to Barnsley. Uh, do we have anybody local to Barnsley in here, first of all? I need to kind of know where you come from. Barnsley or local to Barnsley, put your hands up. Oh my God, wait, it's Mr. Peter Wright! Yeah. <laughs> And then after we'd watched that, it was really, really good. So again, we went for a little walk around um, and kind of waited a little bit until the next one, which was actually um, Amanda's. So Amanda Owen off of Ayotra Farm. She was in the kitchen cooking something up. And we really wanted to see her, so we decided to go and watch her. I mean, honestly, this isn't this isn't the kind of kitchen that I usually deal with. Usually, I'm fending off children and dogs exactly, and all the rest yeah. of it. Exactly. And nobody ever measures anything out at our house, I'll tell you. But we are going to be cooking with lamb because we would be, wouldn't we? Well, we've got to be. We have to be, really, don't we? Yeah. But you don't have to. You can use vegetables, chicken, anything Fishing, at all. Yeah. Because because of course, I'm from Yorkshire as well, so that means I'm always very wary of purse strings. And you know, I don't want this, I want to feed a lot of people without spending too much. Exactly. So then after that, it was really, really good. We went over to the animals, but as you can see here, it was like um, bush crafting, so I was teaching people how to make fires and stuff and stuff like kind of army related a little bit and like military related. But then we went to go and see the meerkats and I don't know if you can see there but there's just a few poking out of that um, rock and one stood on the rock. Um, they were really, really cute. And then also here, there was like loads of them around this little corner, but they all ran off. So yeah, but they are really, really cute. And then we went for some dinner at the Hungry Llama and then we went into, oh actually no, we went into this reptile place first, which I don't know if we actually showed it on camera, but there was a little like string going across the whole entire thing and it was like um, collector's ants and they were literally above your head as you can see there. Um, yeah, ooh. That, that rope went the whole way around the ceiling and they were just carrying these little leaves and honestly I hate like insects and stuff and I was shivering all the time literally like covering my head but it's actually really cool how they can carry those leaves and 
as you can see, there was loads of like reptiles. Wherever you can see, that's that big Asian water monitor. Um, and there's a little tortoise view. I love tortoises, they're actually so cute. Then in here, there was like, um, I don't really know um, what it was called again. Yeah, and then there was this tortoise, but it was like a soft shell one. And it was really weird. It had like, its hands and stuff were really weird. I did not like that. Then there was this snake, which I hate snakes. And this big lizard. We decided to go in here just to have a look, but honestly, I absolutely hate reptiles. They creep me out so much. Uh, ugh, it just makes me shiver thinking about them. I don't know why. And then there was this absolutely ginormous lizard. Uh, not lizard, <laughs> a turtle. Um, then there was this snake. Oh, I hate snakes so much. Thank you very much. Um, then we went into that like cows and pigs and sheep and stuff. There's some little rabbits and we also had to get some food. Then as you can see here, in the first bundle there was some pigs which um, these were like pregnant and they were absolutely massive but they also stunk <laughs> as you can see from my face that like, I didn't really like the smell of those. Um, but yeah, they were absolutely massive. And in the next one, there was little piglets, which piglets were actually so, so cute. And I can't believe how many, like, fully grown pigs have. Look, there was about, um, 18 or 19 there, which is, like, ridiculous. Um, <laughs> then we went out into the field and we saw some of the Shetlands. We also saw, like, John Bon Pony and... Um, those like that you can also see some cows in the background and there's also some longhorns in the field with them as well um, but those ones closest to the fence there are actually little foals um, so they were really really cute there is one of the longhorns and another one they were all laid down I went into the next field and there's just a field barn and there was like a mixture of different animals with some longhorns, some sheep and they had these really cool feeders where you put like food in then you turn the lever and they went into their little bucket but this one actually didn't work <laughs> but yeah there was also some goats in here that you will see next but they were really <laughs> hungry so <laughs> Um, their feeders were shut off but they had no food and I felt really really sorry for them so I took them some in um, but they also they were really really heavily pregnant as well as you can see they also had these little feeders that you poured in and just went straight down into their buckets but I thought this was really really good instead of hand feeding them because sometimes they bite your fingers off also there's some llamas and alpacas I don't really know the difference honestly also these goats that were like going on that big stand thing which was actually so cool and some of them were little babies which was so cute then there were some donkeys and there was also a baby donkey um, which you might see in a second but also yeah loads of little baby animals which is so there's a li one little baby donkey honestly they're so cute some reindeers and that white one actually only had one eye which was so sad bless it then there I don't know if you can see Next to the fence was a baby reindeer, then in here there was a foal shire which had, well, it wasn't a foal but it was a youngster that had had a foal. Then there was a shutland in the next one and then we saw some proper shires and that one was completely covered up so that must be disturbed by the fires quite a lot and then there was lots of other ones in the field as well.
and there was also these tiny little goats and stuff which they were adorable literally and baby sheep honestly they're so cute and then we went and watched Farmer Day, um, Farmer Day, which was who actually owns the place that we were at Cunning Hall Farm. And they actually came and showed some of the animals like John Bon Pony and uh, a little llama. We are so thankful for the veterinary care that we have on our farm. Uh, our, our veterinary practice is the, is the best bar none. They're, they're absolutely brilliant. Um, one of the young Yorkshire vets, Matthew Smith, is here today. We'd like to welcome him. Come on, Matt. And then the last thing that we watched was another Amanda Rowan thing, which they were with, uh, hey? she was with Helen Skelton, which is the presenter of um, This Week on the Farm, which is Cannon Hall Farm. Ladies and gentlemen, um, so, yeah. it gives me huge pleasure to be hosting this particular session. Um, when we go behind the scenes also we did the a behind the scenes of all creatures great and small and we got to meet all the cast and many everything. of you of my generation so, will remember the yeah, first that was series really, really the first to watch as well And then we actually went here and there was giving out free trees. There was doing like an apple tree but then just a blossom tree as well. But I decided to get a little apple tree. And it's actually down the yard at the moment planted. So yeah. I also met Jules, another presenter of um, This Week on the Farm, and that was really cool. And also, that was a Yorkshire bet as well. And then we just went in this little market. Uh, no, this wasn't the market, actually. This was the shop to have a look around. But actually, at the start of the day, I did get a Cannon Hall Farm t-shirt and a little like Cannon Hall Hessian bag. However, it was way too busy in there to film. But as you can see, there was loads of merchandise and it was really, really cool. There was John Bon Pony t-shirts, which I was going to get. But I decided to go to Cannon Hall Farm because I thought I could wear it all the time, not just up the yard. Right next to me there, that was the t-shirt that I got. So yeah, it was really, really nice.
then we went into this maker's market which it was just doing lots of different like activities and had a few little stores in there but we just decided to have a little walk around and as you can see here they just had loads of different things And then that was me just walking back to the car. Saying goodbye to Cannon Hall Farm, but we will definitely be coming back if it is on again. Um, but also, even without the five on the farm on, just going to that would, just going to Cannon Hall Farm would be absolutely amazing. So then guys, we've just come out now and it was a really, really, really good day. I really enjoyed it, especially getting to see like all the different people, especially Amanda. I was really looking forward to seeing her. And obviously we got to see all of the famous animals, like John Bon Pony, like all of them are five on the farm. So yeah, it was such a fun day. I definitely recommend coming. So yeah, so that's all for today guys. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'm also Imogen Grace Fent on those too. Subscribe to the notification bell on so you don't miss any of my videos and please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. That's all for today guys. Bye!